Hi everyone, this is Miles and this is an extra special video because I'm going to share some tips and knowledge about accounting and I hope all of you will learn from it and please comment down if you've learned from it and I accept criticisms po if I've said something wrong or ganyan. I will be using books written by Sir Win Baliada and of course Mr. Conrad Valix as well as those written by Milan. We will start from the basics since ito yung magiging foundation natin and for sure magagamit natin to hanggang sa board exam, hanggang sa magkatrabaho na tayo. Promise, madali lang ang accounting kung iisipin mong kaya mo. Kasi if you are not sure and if you are not determined to push through at iniisip mo na mahirap, na hindi mo mababalance yan or anything na negative, talagang hindi mo kakayanin. So, focus, pray, tapos, syempre, work hard. Yeah. Let's go, future accountants. I'm giving you an acronym. D, C, A, D, E, and L, E, R. D, C, A, D, E, R. Tandaan nyo yun. Anyway, you can basta promise it will help you a lot. Wow! I swear, I swear. So, what's accounting first? According dito sa uh, Conceptual Framework and Accounting Standards 2020 Edition ni Sir Conrado T. Valix, Jose F. Peralta, and Christian Aris M. Valix, sabi, ang favorite kong definition is accounting is a service activity whose function is to provide quantitative information, primarily financial in nature, about economic entities that is intended to be useful in making economic decisions. Another definition is given by the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants or the ICPA. According to them, accounting is the art of recording, classifying, and summarizing in a significant manner and in terms of money, transactions, and events which are in part at least of a financial character and interpreting the results thereof. The third definition was given by the American Accounting Association <clears throat> or the AAA. Um, they said that accounting is identifying, measuring, and communicating economic information to permit informed judgment and decision by the users of the information. Balikan na natin yung binigay ko kaninang acronym which is DC Adler. We all know naman or siguro familiar kayo or yung iba dyan aware na na the basic accounting equation is um, as it is equal to liabilities plus owner's equity or A is equal to L plus OE. So, yun talaga ang magagamit natin forever. Charot! <laughs> So start tayo with the acronym which is D C N A Learn. This is a T account. So uh, the right side is always for the debit and the left side is always for the credit. Don't forget that. So ito si debit. D is for debit and C is for credit. And then etong A, D and E para siya kay debit. So A is for asset. Asset for example, sabe uh, Pedro purchased an equipment. So debit is equipment credit is cash. Asset, D is for drawings. Drawings, ibig sabihin, yung pera na wini-withdraw ng isang owner. Tapos, E is for expenses. Kapag gumastos si owner, Naka-debit sa expenses. For example, utility expenses is debit, credit, cash. Kasi nagbayad siya. L, E, and R para silang lahat sa credit. L is for liability or utang. Ang basic natin dyan na account title is accounts payable is 
the credit one. So, debit, cash, credit accounts payable. E is for equity or the capital of the owner. And R is for the revenue or yung kinikita or income ng isang owner ng company from the service or the goods na uh, pinoprovide nila. So, this is the basic accounting and for sure, magagamit nyo to always, 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 always. I have your examples for you. First, sabi, Pedro purchased land for 100,000 pesos. Ang journal entry natin dyan, debit land because land is an asset. So, increase siya sa asset. 100,000. Credit, cash. Cash ng 100,000. Next, ayun. Pedro purchased shares worth of 20,000 pesos. Ang journal entry is um, shares, 20,000 pesos kasi nga asset din ang shares. So, cash kasi binayaran niya yung 20,000. So, yun ang credit natin, 20,000 pesos. Pedro purchased an office building on account. 100,000 pesos. Ibig sabihin, utang niya yung building ng 100,000 pesos. So, ang journal entry is building ng uh, 100,000 pesos, then accounts payable, 100,000 pesos. And then, kapag babayaran niya na yun, magiging debit mo na si accounts payable since masasettle mo na yung obligation mo na magbayad ng 100,000 pesos and then credit mo cash. Kunwari naman sales or nagbebenta siya ng product. Sabi naman uh, Pedro sold to Juan a merchandise amounting 10,000 pesos. So, ang journal entry dyan cash 10,000 pesos and sales kasi nga ang tawag sa uh, revenue or ang journal entry na ginagamit natin kapag ka products ang ang pinagkakakitaan is sales. So, ang debit is cash 10,000 pesos. Sales is 10,000 pesos since binenta niya naman yun kay Juan ng uh, cash. Kumbaga, walang installment. ba Tapos, next is Pedro naman. Nag-provide naman siya ng service kay Petra. Ang amount is 35,000 pesos. Kapag naman service is service revenue or service income ang tawag natin sa journal entry. Ang debit natin is cash, which is 35,000 pesos. Tapos, ang um, credit natin is um, service revenue, which is 35,000 pesos pa rin. Kasi, syempre, laging balance ang debit at credit natin. Kasi, hindi na naman tama kapag may sumobra dun sa kabila. Kahit magkano pa yan, kahit 25 centavos, kahit 1 peso, it matters always. That's all for our basic accounting lesson. If may mga gusto pa kayong matutunan or may gusto kayong sabihin, request, or anything that I can do for all of you, it would be a great pleasure. So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and hit like and the notification bell. So, thank you guys. Good luck. God bless us all.